F. W. Woolworth, also known as Frank Winfield Woolworth, was born on the 13th of April 1852 in Rodman, New York. He is popularly known as the Five and Dime Magnate. Some of us may not know this name today, but Woolworth was once one of the biggest names in department stores in the US. Before starting his own business, young Woolworth at 20, found work in exchange for room and board at a local dry goods store and was not allowed to wait on customers because his boss said he lacked the sense needed to do so. As a store clerk, young Woolworth convinced his boss to have a 10 cent sale to reduce inventory. The boss agreed, and the idea was a resounding success. With this success in mind, F. W. Woolworth saw the possibilities of a discount store, to have a store where items were priced at a nickel and a dime. He needed capital for such a venture, so he asked his boss to supply the capital for part interest in the store. His boss turned him down flat. The idea is too risky, he told Woolworth. There are not enough items to sell for five and 10 cents. Woolworth went ahead without his bosses backing to borrow funds, and he not only was successful in his first store, but eventually he owned a chain of F.W. Woolworth stores across the nation. With the borrowed funds, he opened his first F.W. Woolworth store in the outskirts of Utica, New York in 1879, but the store closed the following year. Deciding that his problem had been a poor location, he opened a new store in downtown Lancaster, Pennsylvania in 1881. Within months, he was opening multiple stores in business partnerships with local retailers, and within a few years, Woolworth was a millionaire. In 19, 09 he opened his first store in England, and in 19, 13 the company opened its new headquarters in New York's Woolworth Building, which was then the tallest building in the world. He pioneered the now common practices of buying merchandise directly from manufacturers and fixing prices on items, rather than haggling. He was the first to use self-service display cases so customers could examine what they wanted to buy without the help of a sales clerk. The company that F.W. Woolworth owned and operated not only set numerous trends in the retail industry, but he actually created the retail model that most department stores today utilize. Woolworth had a deep fear of dentists, which led to his teeth to rot. Woolworth died of a dental infection in 1919. The company had more than 1,000 stores at the time of his death, and with lunch counters in many stores, Woolworth was America's largest restaurant chain through the 1940s. The company peaked as the world's largest department store chain in the late 1970s, with more than 4,000 stores. By the late 1990s, business was sputtering, and the company closed all of its American department stores, renamed itself Veneta, and sold the Woolworth building. In 2003, Veneta renamed itself after the conglomerate's most successful division, Foot Locker, Incorporated. Under separate ownership, Woolworth stores are still operated in Austria, Germany, Mexico, South Africa, and the United Kingdom. The lesson. Don't see yourself through the eyes of others, they might be myopic. See yourself through your own eyes and you will see a unique person who can scale through any obstacles that life places in his path of success.